Hi, welcome to Steel Fix It number three. Um, I recently ordered a load of 18650 batteries for my um, vaping mod. Um, now, uh, some of you might not be aware that there are many different types of um, 18650 batteries. You have um, the flat top and the button top and the protected cell, which you can get in a button top or a flat top. Um, there is a slight problem with the protected cell and my particular mod and some chargers and probably some other mods as well. If I can demonstrate that to you, um, I'll just switch that off. Take out this one here. Okay, this is a, a standard unprotected 18650. Battery goes in, closes, works fine. Okay. Put in a protected cell. Oops. It's too long. Let's have a look. Um, we compare the lengths of them here. You can see that the blue protected cell is substantially longer than the unprotected cells. And that is because at the negative end there is the cell protection circuit. Okay, so in order for this to fit, we would need to remove the cell protection circuit. Now, what I'm going to show you now is extremely dangerous. Okay, um, this is not an instructional video. Um, do not try this at home. If you do, you're doing it at your own risk. I accept absolutely no responsibility whatsoever. And in any case, this will invalidate your warranty probably any house stroke life insurance that you have as well. Um, so uh, let's carry on. Um, just a brief warning. Um, with the unprotected cells, um, the negative is obviously here, um, usually marked, not very clearly, negative, positive. Okay, But the negative runs this is the bottom of a can and the negative runs all the way down the side, all the way down the side, all the way down the side, and ends up across the top and finishes three millimeters from the positive terminal. Okay? So all of this is negative. All of this here is negative. With the protected cell, if you look very, very carefully, if you one of these people who are lucky enough to have thumbnails, then working on the negative end only, and I must, I can't stress this enough, it must be the negative end. Don't start working on the positive end, because if you start removing stuff from the positive end, you're going to run the risk of actually opening up the cell and exposing yourself to all sorts of nasty chemicals. Do not work on this end. The only thing we're going to remove from this end is this top cap which covers the, the, the actual 1650 cap. So we're going to be working on the negative end. Negative, negative end. I know I keep repeating myself but this is very very important. The negative end. Now here we have the strip which I just showed you in the close-up. So if you have thumbnails, which unfortunately I don't, um, I'm a compulsive nail biter but I'll give it a go. Um, and we're going to try and cut our way through there. No, that's not working. So, we're going to use a knife. We're not going to use a metal knife. Because if we stick a metal knife in here, and we hit that and that, we're going to short circuit the cell. You're not going to have a very good day if you do that. So, using this um, quite blunt uh, wooden letter opener, I'm going to split the outer um, plastic coating or insulator. These do, because these are um, 18650s uh, originally unprotected with the uh, protection circuit put in afterwards. 
um, they, they do have an inner coating as well, so you don't have to worry about damaging this outer coating. Um, get in here and start levering this off, remembering where this is, because this is going to hinge on here. So well, get in there and lever this circuit off. Okay, got a bit of adhesive here. Um, so don't worry about getting that all off right now. Can do that. Go okay, right. That's that. Um, I'll show you the circuit. It's just under here. So there's your um, yeah, yeah under voltage uh, protection and your short circuit protection right here. Um, we're not going to need that because the chargers, or I'm not going to need that because the chargers and the mod that I use, they already have protection for under voltage circuit and reverse polarity. Remove that from the negative end. Okay, uh, I'm going to remove the adhesive pad. I will deal with that later. I'm going to rip this all the way down here. And as you see, there is a second layer of insulation. Right, now, this is where it gets dangerous because, remember, under this coating, this secondary coating, let's, uh, let's take this insulation off here. Under this secondary coating, um, there is a positive terminal. So what we're going to need to do is remove this without shorting against the positive terminal. And we can just turn it lightly spot welded on there. So we can, remember don't use any metallic objects to do that, just pull that off, it's only lightly spot welded. And bingo, we have an 18650. Um, now, having removed this positive rail, all this is now negative, so um, we're going to be quite safe. We've still got a little bit of spot welded material here. So we're going to be quite safe uh, using metallic object now. Um, so I'm going to get, uh, get my trusty multi-tool, where have I put it? Oh, I've got it here, on the bench behind me. Um, I'm going to just lever that up a bit. So we want this fairly smooth. And uh, get a pair of pliers. And just roll that off. So it's nice and smooth. Bit of adhesive there, you can either rub that off like that, or you can get a uh, piece of paper towel and some solvent, um, either um, e uh, ethyl alcohol, um, methanol, something like that, um, to do that. So we now have an unprotected 18650. Um, let's demonstrate. This is fully charged. Um, so Open up our mod, positive end in first, and bingo, it closes. Three clicks to switch it on, one, two, three, on. Power, okay, we have a 2.2 ohm load, 12 watts. Does it work? Let's find out. Oh yeah, that works. 